News 8 is putting you first, and tonight we're addressing the very serious subject of Parkinson's disease. It impacts thousands of people right here in our area. Maureen joining us now with a panel of experts who have volunteered their time tonight to answer your questions, Maureen. That's right, Adam. Some 4,000 people in and around Rochester live with Parkinson's, tens of thousands across the state, and we're talking close to a million across the country. This is a serious disease, but people prove day in and day out that they can live well despite it. And guess what? We have members of the Parkinson's Foundation of Greater Rochester here in studio right now to take your calls. Maybe you're a person living with Parkinson's, maybe you're a caregiver, you're a family member, you know somebody and you just like to figure out ways to help. Call 287-8005. The Parkinson's Foundation will be here through 630 to answer all sorts of questions. And on that note, I'm happy to be joined now by neurologist Dr. Michelle Burak with the uh, Parkinson's Foundation, among other things. Let's begin at the beginning. What is Parkinson's? So Parkinson's is a disease that affects the brain. It attacks the centers of the brain that control movement. Is the earliest manifestation of this disease that we can see. Um, the way it affects movement, um, people can develop a tremor or shaking. Um, it causes movements to slow down. Um, so people um, find that it takes longer to do things. Um, it can also affect balance. Who is at risk for Parkinson's? So the main risk factor for Parkinson's is age. Um, the, in incidence of Parkinson's goes up by fourfold every decade after age 50, so you have about a 1 in 10,000 chance if you're in your 50s, um, but by the time you're in your, your 70s, it's about a 1 in 1,000 chance of developing Parkinson's. And is it fatal? Um, most people die with Parkinson's disease rather than of Parkinson's disease, um, so it's something that, again, it's very slowly progressing typically, um, and again, we have lots of, of treatments that can help improve movement, um, so it's generally, you know, some people do die of complications of Parkinson's, but generally people die of something else, um, and it's something that's just there, um, kind of changing how you do things. Right. We're so glad that you are here today to um, answer questions. I'm sure we'll get plenty of calls, so we'll let you get to the phones right now. Thank Thanks. you, Dr. Barak. I want to mention right now that the Parkinson's Foundation of Greater Rochester will be holding its annual symposium in just a few weeks, and this is a perfect time for patients, their families, and caregivers uh, to take part. It's Sunday, April 7th, beginning at 11 in the morning at the Temple Brith Kodish on Elmwood Avenue in Brighton, and we have more information for you on the Putting You First section on our website. Just click on the story if you'd like to register. Adam.